What's up you guys? I'm super excited today to do a very special unboxing of this year's D23 Gold Membership Annual Gift. As you can see here, it's called Walt Disney's Nine Old Men. And I truly don't know what I'm going to find inside, but before I open it up, I'm going to give you just a little bit more information on what the heck this is. A lot of you last month for maybe the first time or your second time or your fifth time attended the D23 Expo, but a lot of you probably don't know that D23, as a division of the Disney company, does many more events than just the D23 Expo every two years. They do so many cool panels, exhibits, experiences, and so if you didn't know that already, you should really check out their website, which is linked in the description below. And so they have a gold membership that each year that you're a member, you get an annual gift. And this is the gift for being a member during the year of 2017. So let's open it up. It is a box that looks like a book. And it says, Walt Disney's Nine Old Men, D23, the official Disney fan club. The lives and careers of nine magic-making artists unfold in telling treasures and artful artifacts rediscovered within the Disney vaults. Affectionately dubbed the Nine Old Men by Walt Disney in a nod to President Franklin D. Roosevelt's nickname for the Supreme Court justices, these wizards of animation use not wands but pencils to create enduring enchantment and all are welcomed into their wondrous world through this collection. So yeah, if you don't know who the Nine Old Men are, they are kind of like the original founding animators at Disney Animation Studios. They did like so much work on Snow White and Pinocchio and Fantasia and all of those original masterpieces that Walt Disney created. Um, so this is a collection of art done by the nine old men. So let's go through everything we got here. So this is a Mickey Mouse sketch done by Les Clark. Um, it says here that Les was the first of the nine old men to sign on at Disney and he became an animator just in time to work on Steamboat Willie. This is a copy of a police pass for the world premiere of Snow White at the Carthay Circle Theater, which of course has a replica at Disney California Adventure now. The movie premiered on December 21st, 1937 in Hollywood. And I guess this is what the police pass looked like. This is a copy of a card that Walt sent to people with Dopey on it. Uh, Dopey in this card is drawn by Ollie Johnston, um, who has a documentary called Frank and Ollie, if you haven't seen it, it's really great. An irresistible portrait of the breakout star of Snow White, who apparently is Dopey. I would agree that he's the breakout star. This is an inter-office memo from Walt Disney to Milt Call, who's one of the nine old men, obviously. It says, Dear Milt, since the critics have voted Snow White the best picture for 1938, I thought you might like to stow away the attached copy of Film Daily with all the other memoirs you may be saving for your grandchildren. Anyway, I think we should all be very happy that the picture has been selected as 1938's best. Walt. Can you imagine getting a note like this from Walt Disney? <laughs> like, keep this for your memoirs, am I right, Milt Call? Next is the Walt Disney Company holiday card from 1939. It has Pinocchio on it. On the inside, oh my god, it's like signed by everybody. It's Geppetto, Figaro, Cleo, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year from the studio staff, staff and the cast of Pinocchio. Wow. God, so many of these things I want to get framed and put on my wall. No joke. See, we're like going, can you tell we're going from like Snow White into Pinocchio? So next is a Jiminy Cricket animation drawing by Ward Kimball. Jiminy Cricket was designed and animated by Ward Kimball and was a lively latent production addition to Pinocchio. Um, the conscientious Cricket instantly became a Disney icon, hopping across other productions through the years, including the Mickey Mouse Club TV series. This is a Ben Alligator animation drawing by John Lounsbury, 1940. Uh, this is obviously from Fantasia, from the sequence, uh, The Dance of the Hours. And this was apparently the animator's own favorite character in action. This next one I absolutely love because it's so intricate and also like lends itself a little bit to Disneyland history. It is a dinosaur animation drawing by Wooly Reitherman. Um, this sketch was also done for the Rite of Spring sequence in Fantasia. Uh, and it was the later inspiration for attractions at the 1964 to 65 World's Fair, uh, which is why I mentioned that it has some Disneyland history because in the Disneyland Railroad dioramas, there is a sequence um, with these two dinosaurs fighting and I just love seeing it on paper. 
Moving on to Cinderella, this is a Cinderella ball gown preliminary design sheet from 1948 by Mark Davis, who is also so influential to Disneyland history specifically, but he was an animator for Disney first. And he was the one who animated the Rags to Riches transformation, which was Walt's favorite piece of animation in any of his films. Imagine being the animator that animated Walt's favorite sequence in any of his movies ever. <laughs> Man, I love this box because it's really like going through the entire history of the Nine Old Men because here we move on to Peter Pan. This is a Captain Hook animation drawing by Frank Thomas of Frank and Ollie documentary I mentioned previously. Uh, it says, Frank Thomas was the master of emotion. The sensitive animator drew a superlative portrayal of the self-centered, self-pitying Captain Hook. Ugh, God, it's like one of my favorite pieces of Peter Pan art ever. Um, this is a Peter Pan fan card. Uh, beautifully illustrated for the Disney Studios fan mail department. One of the few features on which each of the nine old men worked. This is a Disneyland story production report. For Disney's groundbreaking entry into weekly television, Walt made sure animation was well represented by four of the nine old men, as indicated by the names on this in-house filming report. Some of you might be confused because you might not know that there was a Disneyland television show which chronicled the making of Disneyland Park to get people excited about the theme park. So this was a production report. Uh, it says producer Walt Disney, uh, August 19th, 1954. Obviously we know Disneyland opened in the next summer, 1955. Continuing the Disneyland TV show, this is a script page for the episode Tricks of Our Trade, which offered a fun and informative look at the techniques used in the art of animation. This is a two-page spread from the Art of Animation book in 1958. Walt commissioned this book um, to celebrate his animation staff. How nice of him. The spread features an iconic photo of the nine old men surrounded by their autographs. Reproduced from a unique copy in the Walt Disney Archives, this piece makes for an impressive memento representing the entire group. Ooh, we're already like in the 60s up in here. This is Pongo and Puppy Animation Drawing by Eric Larson. He had an affinity for animals and he graphically portrays a Dalmatian father caring for his canine child. Um, if you didn't know, it has a little bit of information about the xerography process that we used on 101 Dalmatians, uh, through which animators' original drawings were directly transferred to cell and it was a look that the nine old men particularly liked. This is a Disneyland postcard from 1967 featuring the Pirates of the Caribbean. Um, it showcases Mark Davis concept art. Mark Davis, who I just said <laughs> worked on Disneyland. Here's how he did it. Um, a brilliant combination of story character characterization and design on postcards celebrating parts of the Caribbean. After transferring to Wed Enterprises, which is now called Walt Disney Imagineering, Mark was a major creative force behind one of the most elaborate and most beloved Disneyland attractions ever, Pirates of the Caribbean. Next up, we have a Shere Khan character sketch by Milk Call. Um, he is a master of both animation and character design, and he explores the contemptuous character of Shere Khan from The Jungle Book, arrogant but still appealing. This is an Aristocats promotional handbill. This promotional handbill from the initial release of the film shines the spotlight on the new cast of characters for the Aristocats. So this is basically like a movie poster that just like introduces the characters and their voices. It says like, Duchess, voice Ava Gabor. Thomas O'Malley, voice Phil Harris. This is getting framed immediately. Disney studio photograph from 1972. I feel like this is the most famous photo I've ever seen of the nine old men. With artwork from Robin Hood as a backdrop, the nine old men gathered for a rare group photo at the Disney company um, as it approached its 50th anniversary in 1973. This is the invitation for the Alice in Wonderland preview. A new generation rediscovered Alice in Wonderland, especially at the sold out screenings at the 1973 Walt Disney Productions 50th anniversary film retrospective at Lincoln Center. So obviously this movie came out a lot earlier and they had a re-release of it in 1974. Oh goodness. This is a Disney animation recruitment brochure from 1977. As the Nine Old Men began to retire, Disney sought to ensure the legacy of the art of animation by instituting Disney's animation training program. So they were looking for new animators. Disney's looking for some colorful new characters to draw their characters. In here is a little button that says Happy 50th, Eric, and it's Eric Larson's 50th anniversary pinback button from 1983. With a character drawn by a legendary Disney animator 
and director John Musker, who um, directed a lot of our favorite Renaissance movies. He was one of the many artists mentored by Eric Larson in Disney's animation training program. This button celebrates Eric Larson's 50th year with Disney Animation, the last of the nine old men to leave the studio. He retired in 1986. That's crazy that someone who worked with Walt Disney was there until 1986. And last but not least, this is the Disney Legend Awards Ceremony program from 1989. Disney celebrated the art of animation and the very foundation for every Disney success by inducting the nine old men as Disney Legends, the company's highest honor in 1989. The ceremony was attended by the four surviving nine old men, Mark Davis, Ward Kimball, Ollie Johnston, and Frank Thomas. This is honestly, a wonderful box. <laughs> like, I can't believe how much wonderful artwork is in here and so much history, so much to learn. I know a lot of you enjoy my like Disney history videos. So if you enjoy that, you'll probably enjoy this. Um, like I said, you get this when you are a D23 Gold member. This is the annual gift for the year of 2017. So there's a new gift every year and this is this year's. So if you're interested in hearing more about D23, the official Disney fan club, please visit the link in the description box below. Let me know which piece from this box was your favorite in the comment section. And I'll see you guys very soon for more videos here on Thingamavlogs. Thanks for watching. See you later.